Hi, I'm Frank Bates, and this is our the Bates RV program. We're going to show you a little bit about Bates RV. I hope you really like it, and if you do like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know, because then I don't need to pay for this thing anymore, okay? But anyway, we're going to show, take you on a quick th tour through Bates RV, show you all the neat stuff here. I mean, we got service bays back here, 20 of them. We got a huge paint booth. We got all kinds of neat stuff. Part store, but you don't know about it unless I try to show it to you or unless you come down. This is going to be a quick tour, so we're not going to be able to get a whole lot in. Again, I hope we don't bore you too much. If we do, well, we get the nice snap out of it anyway. Maybe you can go to sleep. But otherwise, keep watching, and we're going to show you around. Come on, we're going to go now and show you some of the neat stuff we've got here. While Frank prepares Gulfstream's latest tour master for your test drive, we're going to take a minute to tell you about Bates RV. We have two locations in Venice and Tampa. Venice is a thriving community located on Florida's Gulf Coast and enjoys a pleasant year-round climate with an average temperature of about 72 degrees. With such perfect weather, it's no wonder that there's lots to do here. Whether it's an early morning stroll along the beach or a spirited tennis match right in the heart of town or window shopping, there's something here for everybody. Naturally, with a name like Venice, you'd expect to find water sports galore, and you wouldn't be wrong. With over 14 miles of white sandy beaches along the Gulf of Mexico and dozens of intercoastal waterways, Venice is the perfect aquatic playground for jet skiers, boaters, anglers, and sun worshippers of all ages. Downtown Venice is just a short stroll from the beach. You can indulge yourself in world-class shopping and dining along Venice, Tampa, or Miami Avenues. Many of the buildings here date back to the early 20s and have been lovingly restored. Take your time to enjoy these unique shops and restaurants. You'll be sure to have an experience you won't soon forget. Indeed, Venice is something different to each and every person who visits or lives here. To us at Bates RV, it's home. To you, we hope Venice is the start or continuation of this exciting lifestyle we call RVing. Now let's rejoin Frank Bates. This is a 1995 Tourmaster. It's a 40-foot motorhome. It's built by Gulfstream. This is the top of the Gulfstream line. It's a beautiful motorhome. It's on a Spartan chassis and it has the M11 400 horsepower engine in it with a six-speed transmission. This coach flies. I mean, this coach is quick. We always kid because it has so much power. The only thing to really do is to have the most fun is to go down at the bottom of a hill, wait for one motorhome to go up and just pass him, then come back down the bottom of the hill, wait for another motorhome to go up and pass him. It's uh, got a great turning radius on it. It's a 45-degree turning radius. It, uh, this one's equipped with a jake brake, so if you're in the mountains, you'd be able to you know, slow down coming down the mountains. The six-speed transmission built by Allison is a computerized transmission, which has a mode setting in it, so therefore you can either go to an economical setting where it shifts uh, smoother in a higher RPM, or you can take it off the mode setting, therefore giving you a little bit sportier acceleration. The coach has got an all-leather interior in it. It has got uh, all white leather in this coach. It's a, just an absolutely beautiful coach. It's one of the few coaches that has a walk-in closet. And most of the ladies go nuts over that. It's got the one-piece windshield in it, which is a super setup. And the one thing about the one-piece windshield makes you feel like you're in a big screen theater where you can just absolutely see everything. You can really enjoy this motorhome. It's a great, great value for the money and just no way, no way you can beat it. It has a uh, king-size bed in it, which a lot of the coaches are now going to king-size beds, which is really a super feature, which so many people are spending so much time in the coaches now. It has the side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator in it, which is a great feature, which only came out a couple of years ago. And then also it has a beautiful pantry, whereby the pantry opens up and shows three different sections deep where you can put cans and uh, all your groceries like that. It has a washer and dryer in it, which is a very nice feature has the uh, microwave with convection oven. Gulfstream is an excellent product. We've been selling the Gulfstream for quite a few years. The one great thing about Gulfstream is they're really striving for customer satisfaction. Between us and Gulfstream, wherever you're at in the United States, you'll be taken care of and you don't have to worry about it. One of the greatest things about Gulfstream is some of the values that they have in different motorhomes. The Friendship Motorhome, which is what this one is, is one step below the Tourmaster and is just an unbelievable value because they lower the price of the motorhome because it's one step down. But as I go through the motorhome this year, 
I hardly don't see any difference in it. It's 102 wide, it has a big chassis built by Spartan, it has a Cummings engine in it, the six-speed world transmission, all the indirect lighting, beautiful upholstery inside of it. It has a real light bleached wood interior which gives it a real airy feel. The outside of it's a smooth fiberglass with the painted on graphics and the Spartan chassis again is a big factor in this and while we were in Louisville this year we got to talk to John Stekiel who's the president of Spartan and he told us some of the things about the chassis and what makes it so unique and such a great value. The reason we're here today is to talk a little bit about rear engine diesel motorhome chassis, specifically Spartan chassis. As you can see, over the last four years, we've had a tremendous growth in chassis sales. Why? Because so many others have found that when it comes to motorhomes, where's the best place to have the engine? In the back of the coach. Why? Because it's quiet up front. What's the number one chassis of choice when it comes to rear engine motorhomes? Spartan Motors. Why? Because we do so many things better than so many other companies. What we will build is a custom chassis built specifically for that final manufacturer which gives you the best driving and living motorhome out on the road today. No other chassis manufacturer has had this kind of growth when it comes to rear engine motorhome chassis. One of the areas which makes Spartan Motors so unique and which is attributed or contributed to our growth in the RV business is the issue of ride and handling. What I've got pictured behind me is our new versed steering and suspension system and literally what this is is a nine month coordinated effort to bring a new dimension and improvement in ride and handling of your motorhome when it goes down the road. Through the utilization of a Rayco suspension, Eaton axle, TRW steering gear and, and bringing them together in such a manner where today even our dealer council said this was by far and away the best driving air suspension motorhome on the market today. And that's important because when your vehicle's going down the road, you don't want to feel a lot of shake and vibration because that just goes from the road to the chassis to your body. The end result is loose cabinets, things don't work right. The other added benefit to the joy going down the road is when it comes to possibly when you want to trade in your coach, your coach will be in much better condition. The end result is you should probably have a higher resale value. So at Spartan Motors, we one of the reasons we've had such great growth is because we t pay attention to those details which are important. Not only do we want to give you a good ride down the road, but we want to take care of your motorhome, we want to take care of your physical body. And we do that through good steering, suspension, and handling. And the Verse system is the premium system on the market today, as evidenced by the comments in our dealer council, of which Bates RV is a member of. One of the items, again, which separates Spartan Motors from so many other companies is our attention to the little details. Anybody can build the chassis, and whether it is put the engine in the rear or in the front of the coach. But at Spartan, we do more than just put the engine in the back. We take care of those small details. A perfect example is our function-coded wiring. What, what makes this so important is that not only do we number code our wires, but each wire number is the function coded. Air horn, air brakes, warning signal, headlamps. Not only does this make it easier for the body manufacturer to build on the coach, so you're getting a better quality motorhome, but second, when it comes to servicing the chassis, maintenance and troubleshooting goes that much faster. How do we come up with these innovations? because we listen to you. Like Spartan, one of Bates RV's strengths is customer service. My wife and I originally started out traveling in motorhomes. I used to be a salesman uh, selling motorhomes in South Florida and then became a, uh, actually started out as a parts manager, then became a salesman, then became a general manager, and then my wife and I opened Bates RV about seven years ago. Originally it was her and I and one mechanic. Now we have 50 employees and do about $35 million a year in sales. Never expected to do this much, but it's been a lot of fun and we've had a lot of fun growing and enjoy all the customers we have. We're always trying to come up with new innovative ideas and things to make it easier for our customers and more fun for us. We enjoy the RV industry and I tell you what, if you haven't got an RV, you should think about it. You can go more places, do more things. It's much better than a boat. You can go out in any kind of weather. If it starts leaking, you can get out and walk. It's easier to dock. Airplanes, you, those are not as good. If those break down, you may not live through it. And there's just a lot of stuff to see in the whole United States. And uh, 
up into Canada, you just can't imagine all the places you can see and things you can do and all the nice people. As Frank says, you'll be sure to meet lots of nice people when you hit the road. But what always amazes us is not only how many nice people are out there, but how many roads there are to hit. We've caravaned throughout America and stretched our legs in Monument Valley. We've been to the Wild West in Tombstone, then to the southernmost point of the U.S. Niagara Falls is great even if you're not on your honeymoon. The RV Adventurer Club goes everywhere and does everything. And at the end of the day, we drive off into the sunset knowing that the next adventure is only a day away. Let's rejoin Frank. Right now we're in the Safari Serengeti. This is a super motorhome, diesel pusher. This coach is on a Magnum chassis. The Magnum chassis is built by Safari and is built strictly to be underneath a Safari motorhome. You've got a leather interior in here, which the leather is so soft in here that I had a lady looking at it the other day and she's called it butter leather. Butter leather. She said the leather is just like butter, which I thought was really a neat thing and I told her I was going to use it. Safari builds three lines in their Safari actual line, which is the Sahara, the Serengeti, and the Ivory. This is the Ivory, which is the top of their line. This coach comes with every conceivable option, including inverters, solar panels, microwaves, TVs. It has the legendary butter leather, which is a real soft leather that they use on the seats. The coach has got heated mirrors, and the one nice thing about it is it has the nicest fabric that they have in any of the safari line. This is really neat because they got a little, it's a safari and they've got this year, they've got little um, safari animals like giraffes and uh, elephants and all this kind of neat stuff that's actually right into the fabric and it's really a pretty fabric. If, when you come to look at this motor, you've got to get in the ivory and at least look at the fabric, you're going to get a big kick out of it. The one neat thing about the Safari 2 is of course the Magnum chassis. Safari builds the chassis and the coach. Right now we're going to hear from Matt Perlock who's going to tell us about Safari and the Magnum chassis and why Safari decided to build their own chassis. Well, we felt first off that the diesel engine of the rear pusher was the wave of the future and the way to go. We also felt that it was very difficult to have the customer uh, in the middle with divided responsibilities for warranty and so forth, where you had to, to go to one supplier for the chassis-related problems and then the coach manufacturer for the other problems. And building our own chassis, we can take full responsibility for the customer. The buck stops with us. At Max Air, the buck also stops with President Al Thomas, who joins us now. Well, the vent cap cover uh, answers a perfect uh, need for the RVer from two standpoints. Uh, one, when you're out using your RV uh, and you have your rooftop ventilator open, that's uh, you have maybe three or four in the vehicle, and you're out for the day, you want to you constantly worry whether there's a rainstorm or a rain shower. You want to come back to your vehicle and find out that your your bed or your couch is wet. So the, uh, the Max Air vent cap cover was a perfect solution for that. Then the other half of the uh, of story is many times your RV's in the, in the yard, you're, you're storing it, you're not in it for two, three months at a time. It's a perfect solution for leaving your uh, ventilator open and allowing for a, a good fresh breeze to go through your RV and not worry about rain. Simply uh, put, the Max Airs are all uh, designed to go over an existing roof vent. So we want to make an easy installation and provide the maximum ventilation through a vehicle. Well, that can come from many ways. Well, obviously, uh, one way is through a 12-inch diameter high-powered fan blade. Well, the Solar Max, with its uh, powerful 7.5 watt solar cell, uh, provides 164 CFM of airflow, cubic feet per minute airflow, through the vehicle every day that there's sun, of course. And in addition, uh, can tap off your batteries. And where Window Max is now, it's a fully developed concept and provides the benefit of leaving your window slightly ajar, slightly open, and a cross ventilation through your RV. If you have a pet in your RV, you certainly don't want to leave your, your vehicle locked up when you're gone. Here you can provide active ventilation uh, while you're gone from your RV. At Bates RV, we have, of course, we have the 20 service bays, 
and all of our service mechanics are ASE certified and they've been sent to the various schools by Spartan and uh, Oshkosh, Dometic, Coleman, so they're all certified on these different products. The one thing you want to make sure of is there's a lot of mom and pop RV dealers, which are good dealerships, but they just don't have the service facility. Our advantage is that, of course, we have the service facilities, we have the knowledgeable personnel to take care of you, and the other big advantage is we go to a lot of the FMCA rallies, and mostly all the FMCA rallies, and we usually bring a service tech with us. So if you happen to be at one of those rallies, we also can take care of you there on the road. Of course, you have Bates RV, and we have 20 service uh, bays at our facility. We have a huge parts department. We have the Southeast Florida's largest paint booth, so if you do happen to nick it up, we can fix it for you. One thing about motor homes, you don't see too many of them getting wrecked because they're so big, everybody sees them, so they avoid them pretty well. We're here in the one bedroom chair at Eagle with Bob Holiday. Your company is, uh, at this point, I believe, the number one part model dealer in the nation? That's right. Uh, we're the number one manufacturer of part models, Frank. Uh, we use a 3 8 inch gypsum, Frank, and uh, this is all vinyl covered. It's not paper, so it's completely washable. We have stain master carpeting throughout. Uh, all of our sofas actually become sleepers, so it provides an extra bed. The high roof is a big selling point. We have piped in. Though in this particular model, we have uh, overhead heat ducts. We can put them in the floor or up top. Many units have the uh, overhead storage cabinets over the bed. Uh, windows pretty much by design, but at least one large window and usually two. So, and again, the stereo is piped in. It's wired for ceiling fan. So it's a great uh, vacation getaway, if you will. And uh, of course, I've seen so many all across the country with decks, screen rooms. It's just really a nice weekend or vacation home. Be sure to check out the entire Chariot Eagle line at Bates RV in Tampa, located on I-4 Exit 9. Now let's get back to our Venice location where Frank has some Gulfstream travel trailers. Frank? On the other side of the Bates RV lot, we have the Gulfstream towables. Everything from Conquest travel trailers and fifth wheels to the Kingsley fifth wheel. In the Conquest line, we have both travel trailers and fifth wheels. And in travel trailers, we have 18 feet all the way up to 32 feet with and without slide outs. Also, we have two bedroom models in the Conquest, which have pro proven to be very popular. When you get into a step up in the line a little bit, then you go to the Seahawk fifth wheel and travel trailer. The Seahawk, where this trailer has an aluminum outside, the Seahawk is a fiberglass outside with aluminum frame and is available in the fifth wheel and the travel trailer. Solid walls, fiberglass here on the side, smooth glass, not the Mindy board where you can see the different grains of the fiberglass. All aluminum frame and great price. They just came out with a lower line in the Seahawk where you don't have the fiberglass cap up in front like you do on this one, so you save even more money. But I mean, if you're looking at a travel trailer and you want to get a great buy, you got to look at this thing. These things don't even stop rolling when they come in the dealership. I'm serious. They be pulling, they'll be pulling them in from the, from the factory and somebody will hook up to them and take them right away. That's how quick they sell. We had to keep this one here just so we could film it. But anyway, you got to take a look at the Seahawk. The construction is great, the interior is super, it's got the, just about the same interior of a Kingsley fifth wheel, and it's just a nice value. Now to go on up to the full top of the line in the fifth wheels, you go into the Kingsley fifth wheel, which is a beautiful fifth wheel and has just about all the appointments of the Tourmaster motorhome. When I say that, it has the real nice white laminate interior, also is available in oak interior. But the white laminate is something that is very, very popular because it opens up the whole entire coach, but yet it's a very expensive way to build it inside of a motorhome. Now the Kingsley fifth wheels, of course, come with slide outs, but they even go as far as having three slide outs. These fifth wheels hold together excellent. One of the big reasons they do is the way the gooseneck is mounted into the frame. Right here is where most of your stress happens in a fifth wheel because that's the point where it's uh, bending back and forth. When you see the Kingsley fifth wheel, one thing you'll notice is right inside here, the double yoke that goes up into the overhead gooseneck, and that's what gives it a lot of its strength. The whole sidewall on this is aluminum and fiberglass laminated. It's a very, very strong sidewall, so you don't have to worry about having any problems with it. Of course, the other nice thing about the fiberglass is if you do get a dent in it or something hits it, it's going to hold up real well, but if you do get a dent, you can just fiberglass over it and repair it. Where with the all-aluminum sidewall, you have to put a whole new sheet of aluminum. 
but make sure and look at all the different Gulf Stream lines. They've got a huge selection of floor plans, the oak and the white interiors, and beautiful fabrics inside of them. And they're right here at Bates RV in Venice or in Tampa. Gulfstream has always shown the way with towable RVs. Another industry leader is Gaylord Maxwell, who joins us now to talk about how to keep safe on the road. Gaylord? The RV lifestyle is the safest lifestyle that I know of. I know of very little crime that occurs in campgrounds and RV parks. Certainly murderers and robbers and rapists, that kind of people don't pick up the lifestyle, so they're not out there. It's just nice people out there. However, common sense should dictate to you that there are certain precautions you should take no matter where you are and how safe it is. Uh, a lot of people ask me, should you take a weapon? Well, I absolutely am totally against anyone taking a handgun. The principal reason being it's illegal in so many places, states, and municipalities, cities, it's illegal to have that handgun. It's a link to the, the barrel is a problem. If you feel that you must have a gun with you, I recommend taking a shotgun, particularly a pump shotgun. The reason is this, picture yourself. You're, you're the thief and you're prowling around the back of a motorhome or a trailer somewhere and you hear through an open window in a bedroom at 3 a.m. the thwack, thwack of the pumping mechanism on a shotgun. What will you do, Mr. Robber? Well, you'll take off fast, I guarantee you. So the point is, the scare aspect of that pump shotgun is, is its greatest value. Secondly, if you really want to shoot a robber and you're shooting in the dark, isn't it much better to have a shotgun than a pistol? But the main thing is that shotgun is not illegal. I don't know anywhere that it's illegal. Now, if you do go into Canada with it, you have to declare that you have that, and there's some official business that you have to go through on it. Well, the Continental is a coach that all safari owners all want to grow up to be a Continental owner. This is the top of our line. This line here is actually built with walnut woods. It's got slide-out storage bins. It's got more fountainhead countertops. We go ahead and make the whole dining room table in fountainheads. And with the, the dual pane windows, they're standard in this with bronze tone windows as a uh, glare proof. We also take this motorhome and we make every option possible that Safari offers and make it standard in this. This coach has everything. I don't think there's anything that you can buy for this motorhome. I mean, we're talking backup camera, stereos. Stereo has a fancy CD in it with a remote control. It has, uh, of course, jacks, awnings. The uh, Continental has more storage space in the basement because they work harder at getting virtually everything out of the way down below, so you've got plenty of storage down below. One of the nice things about all the safaris is the way the gauges are clustered so that they're real easy to see. The coach has got a 45 degree turning radius on it so you can really turn it tight. The outside of the motorhome is completely painted with a base coat clear coat. There's no decals or anything on this motorhome. It's just a real pleasure to drive. It has a six-speed world transmission which will really get you up and move you down the road. The coach has got a huge front windshield in it with a lot of area to see. The uh, six-speed transmission will get you 10 miles a gallon or better. We've had some customers with the uh, 230 Cummings in it get as high as 14 to 16 miles a gallon with the six-speed transmission. The Safari is just an excellent buy as far as, far as the quality. The same quality in this, inside of this motorhome, it would cost you three to $400,000 to find in any other motorhome. Thanks for taking a look at uh, the profile on this Safari Continental and make sure and check it out, you'll enjoy it. Dave Sterrett is going to tell us about an exciting new plumbing product and how it'll keep you from getting scalded when you're in your coach and you're taking a shower and your wife goes to brush your teeth and turns on the laboratory. Dave, tell us about this unit and all the different features it has. Frank, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, that certainly is an important feature of our system that we have in this coach. It does offer an anti-scald and a pressure balancing system. Uh, it also is going to deliver the water, the hot water, throughout the unit uh, much faster than traditionally the uh, RV people are used to seeing. Uh, we're going to be able to offer them a virtual fitting-free system, which is going to eliminate leaks and potential problems for them while they're on the road. Uh, 
Now, I was interested in the fact that you said there's actually a 10-year guarantee on this, but for the first five years, if this system leaks, then if it, let's say, it blows a line and gets water all over your uh, carpeting and ruins your carpeting or whatever, you, your company will come in and pay to re-carpet it and That's take correct. care of any damage. The warranty stipulates that if you have a manufacturing defect within this system in the first five years, we'll take care of the problem, the labor to, to fix that problem, and to take care of any incidental damages. Uh, and the remaining ten years, we'll go ahead and take care of the problem and take care of uh, uh, the labor of that, and then it's prorated for the remaining five years for the full ten-year warranty. Nice thing about this thing, too, is that uh, the folks that buy this coach and have that ten-year warranty, if two or three years, whatever it is down the road, they decide that they want to come back to you and get a different coach, a bigger coach, whatever it might be, the warranty stays with us. So it's a nice selling feature for the folks that still have this. They can pass the warranty on to the next owner. And I tell you, we've, we've had it in our coaches in Gulfstream for a couple years. Safari just came out with it in 96. And as far as I know, it's the only available in the Safari and the Gulfstream and then in the bus conversion, which start out over $500,000. I mean, I'm so impressed with the system, be truthful, that we're putting it in a house that we're building. And Great. I think it's just a super, super deal. This is a Sun Voyager by Gulfstream. This is a beautiful coach. It's 102 wide, and it comes in gas or diesel. The motorhome comes as small as 29 feet in a diesel, in fact, which is very rare that you can get a 29 foot with a diesel motor in it. The other nice thing about this coach is the construction. It's a fiberglass sidewall, but the interior of the sidewall is all steel. A lot of the other manufacturers may tell you, oh, well, we put steel all around the cab so you're safer. Well, the thing about Gulfstream is they have what you could call a circle of steel. The whole body is steel and then laminated with a fiberglass outside. It has, of course, a wood cabinet inside and plush carpeting, several different floor plans you can choose from. Another nice thing about the Sun Voyager, it's also available with a slide out on it. One neat thing about Gulfstream is it's owned by one person. So the nice thing about it is since we're the number one Gulfstream dealer, we get good treatment and good treatment for our customers. If we have a problem and I need to get an answer and get something done, it's not like dealing with a big corporation where nobody wants to make an an give me an answer because they're afraid if they give me an answer they could get fired. So they don't give me any answer. The good thing about Gulfstream and the one owner is I can call him whenever I need to. I've got his home number, I've got his uh, number of course in his car. I guess I could even get him in the bathroom if I needed to. But the nice thing about it is I get an answer. He makes a decision and that means I can take care of the customer. And I can also take care of any other problems that happen. One of the guys that helps us a lot is the national sales manager for Gulfstream, and that's Kip Wellen. Let me let you talk to him, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about Gulfstream. Well, what we try to do is to set it up where when the consumer has a question or a problem that needs to be taken care of, the dealer can immediately get on the phone, get in contact with the proper representative or person or persons at Gulfstream, and that consumer issue can be handled right at that time. This industry, as, as much as any other, is that kind of an industry because the consumer wants to have direct access with the people building the coach. You wouldn't think of calling General Motors when you ordered a car, but that's because of the volume and just the way the car industry is set up. But in recreational vehicles, it is maybe something these people have saved for all their life. And it's a very important buying decision, as important as buying their first home or anything else, because many, many people use this as their home. And they want a direct contact with the manufacturer, and we try to make ourselves accessible to that. Customer accessibility has been a cornerstone in the spectacular growth of Carefree of Colorado. I'm Tom Faludi. I'm president of Carefree. We're really thrilled to become part of this uh, effort by Bates RV and uh, we feel that uh, Bates RV does a very good job. They're very aggressive in the area. They're a quality dealer. We appreciate being affiliated with them and we think that this video that they've prepared will give all of our customers a better opportunity to understand all about Carefree Colorado and all the awnings that we provide. Now we're going to talk about the two products that we have for slide outs. As you know, slide outs are the most popular design feature on RVs today. We have two products for slide outs. One is a side out cover, the other is a side out awning. The difference is that the side out cover merely covers the roof as it comes out and it protects the roof from things like water, uh, bird droppings, uh, limbs, trees, other debris that might otherwise come into the slide out. In addition to this, so we have the side out awning, and the reason that this is important is because as soon as we came out with this, people said, well, I also want something for, to cover my window. 
and it not only doesn't look very nice to have a window awning underneath a side out cover because you got a roller underneath a roller, but it also is more expensive than you might otherwise than it might otherwise need to be because why pay for two rollers when you can do it all with one? As, as the room extends, you'll see that both the side out cover as well as the side out awning up to this point have essentially done the same thing. To extend the side out awning, all we do is grab the pull strap, pull it down, hook it on the window awning latch, and now the side out awning also has the window awning feature. One thing we recently started last year was our RV Adventure Club. The reason we started is because we came back from a rally, FMCA rally in Puyallup, Washington, and had so much fun that we said, how can we do this and still work? Because if I'm not at work, I feel guilty. So we decided to start the RV Adventure Club, and it's been going now for a little over a year. We've had a couple of rallies, and we're planning some trips. And it's just really a super deal. We get to go out with the customers and go traveling around the country, and we bring a service technician with us when we go on the trips. So if you buy an RV from us, you can get into the club, and if you, especially if you go on these trips, you don't have to worry about any problems, because we're taking a service mechanic with us, so if anything happens, we'll just get it fixed right there. You know, if you buy a motorhome, one thing you gotta do is be able to use it. If you can't use it or go places, it's no fun. We also own a coast-to-coast -coast campground, so if you get an RV from us, we automatically give you a membership in our campground, which is Cherry Log Campground in Georgia. And you can go up there and go camping and also go to 500 other campgrounds around the United States for as little as $4 a night. For anyone who's been to Camp Cherry Log before, $4 a night is a real bargain for this mountainside RV resort. Located in North Georgia, about an hour from Atlanta, Camp Cherry Log is the perfect getaway from the hustle and bustle of the city. While this resort is rustic camping at its best, Cherry Log's designers spared no expense here. RV sites have full hookups and concrete pads. Several sites even have decks. Tenting at Camp Cherry Log is about as comfortable as you'll find anywhere. Why these sites have wooden decks and electricity. And no resort would be complete without a swimming pool, and Camp Cherry Log is no exception. The clubhouse is fully equipped and has hosted its fair share of parties. On our visit to Camp Cherry Log, we were fortunate to run into the Bates RV Adventurer Club. This club, made up exclusively of Bates RV customers, was enjoying a rollicking autumn weekend, which included a shootout. Later on, the club was treated to a performance from the Blues Brothers. And the weekend's finale was a casino night. Club member Ron Joubert took time out from the fun to tell us a little bit about Bates RV and the RV Adventurer Club. Bates RV Adventure Club is unique in that it's specifically designed for people to have a good time, uh, which is what RVing is all about. Camp Cherry Log is just an absolutely beautiful place. It's, it's awesome. It's in the Georgia mountains. Uh, I've never been here before. I've never been to the Georgia mountains before, and I didn't realize how beautiful this area was. But uh, this is our first trip to Cherry Log, and we just found it absolutely wonderful. Uh, the campsite itself is, uh, is just beautiful, couldn't be nicer. Uh, the rally that we have it is uh, made up of a bunch of really great folks. We've had a wonderful time here. Uh, the entertainment, the food, the activities have all been planned well and ex executed well and we've just had, we just had a really great time. Ella Mae Anderson captures the mood of the weekend best. I love Camp Cherry Log. Back in Florida, Frank joins us to talk about how Sellers builds motorhomes. Sellers will build you a custom motorhome in any size floor plan or chassis. This particular one was built for the physically challenged. I'm going to show you one of their standard run models, the Land Cruiser LX. This is a Land Cruiser LX by Sellers. This is one of their standard models. However, this particular one has got a little bit different floor plan to it. It has an L-shaped couch up in the front, and then it has two doors on it, and the back is actually can be used as either an office or a bedroom. There's a couch back there. You can actually have actually two living rooms in this coach. It's a really nice floor plan if you want to have a little more versatile floor plan. That's one thing neat about Sellers is the fact that they are a custom company. If you wanted a specific floor plan, a specific size, the uh, 
any type of uh, chassis that you wanted underneath the coach, they would build it with a specific chassis. To tell you how innovative they are, they just came out with a rear slide out. Now when I say rear slide out, everybody's seen the slide outs that are on the side. This is the back end of the motorhome literally slides out and gives you extra space. This is a super idea because there's always room in a campsite to bring out the back end of the motorhome. Bates RV stocks over 400 RVs at two locations including a huge selection of Gulf Streams. Gulf Stream builds several different styles and brands. Their Sunsport is their entry line and it's the best value for the money. If you're looking at used motorhomes, before you buy one, you need to take a look at the Sunsport motorhome. This is one of them right here, and this is a beautiful coach, and they make it in a gasoline chassis. This has got the new style bus front end on it. The one nice thing about Gulfstream products is they have such a wide variety of models. If you don't want to go for the Tourmaster, which is right behind us, which is the top of their line, but you still want a diesel pusher and you want something a little bit smaller, you can go into the Scenic Cruiser. Scenic Cruiser is the same 102 wide, goes up to 36 feet long, has an option of like a slide out right here, which just like magic will come out and give you an enormous amount of room. But if you don't want to go for a slide out, you can also go for the straight side model. We have the full line of Gulfstream products. And no matter what price range you're looking for in a motorhome, you need to take a look at the Gulfstream, especially if you want to get into a diesel pusher, because you can't buy a diesel pusher at any better price than you can in a Gulfstream and get more value. There's no way. You've got to look at the Gulfstream product. Hi, my name is Rich Keen with Quadra Manufacturing. Quadra manufactures the Bigfoot hydraulic leveling system for recreational vehicles. One of the main reasons that it, an RVer needs a leveling system is to stabilize the coach. Just like at home, if an oven is not level or a refrigerator is not level, well then of course they will not operate properly. A coffee maker, for example, a very simple thing, but if it's not level, it, it won't operate properly. I think of a, of a well, the RVer who pulls up and it's 11 o'clock at night and it's raining. He doesn't want to have to get out of the motorhome. He wants to be able to push a button, level his coach, and uh, go on with his business. Probably the biggest thing that sets ours apart from some of the others on the market is ours has individual pumps and motors. Uh, most of the other systems have run off a central reservoir. Uh, with individual pumps and motors, you eliminate about 200 feet of hydraulic line and the idea or thought that uh, if a central reservoir does fail, you'd be incapacitated. When you pull up and you're ready to use your leveling system, you like to be able to sit right in the comfort of your driver's seat, push a few buttons, and be able to level a coach relatively easy. You can do that with the Bigfoot hydraulic leveling system. One button operates all the levelers, push button control. Each one has its own individual operation, allowing you to use one or two at a time. Now, it's always recommended that you use two at a time because that way you're moving the frame rail evenly and avoid any type of twist on your coach. Those unique exchanges is a a building here at Bates RV and what it is, it's where we put all the interesting things that we take in on trade. We do everything we can do to make a deal. Some of the unique things that we've taken in is right back here we've got a white uh, Firebird 89 Trans Am that was traded by a little old lady and she only drove it on Sunday and she only drove it on Sunday over 100 miles an hour. Also right over here to the right we've got a uh, blue Cadillac that was used in the movie Mad Dog and Glory with Robert De Niro and Bill Murray. Our main philosophy here is whatever it takes to get the deal put together. If you've got something that you're not using, you might as well, you know, turn it into something that you'll have fun with because that's what it's all about, getting out and having some fun. And here at Bates, we do everything we can do to make that happen for you. Right now we've got Don Hene all the way from Oregon with the Safari Motor Coach Company and he's going to tell us about some of the new exciting changes. You've got some new stuff for 96, right? Yes, we sure do. Let me show them to you, Frank. This is very unique to us. Uh, 50 amp power service. Most of my competitors in a 24 foot would never give you a 50 amp power cord. Obviously you can adapt it down to a 30 amp or just a 110. And this is also where our 1000 watt freedom in inverter system is stored in the basement. And it's a propane generator. That way it burns a little cleaner than gas and you don't get the carbon buildup. And then back here this is your storage and it goes all the way through. Again, insulated compartment doors and the 50 amp power cord. So you can run a computer and the microwave and the air conditioner all at the same time. So a lot of power. The overhead cabinets above are all wood. I don't know of any coach in this price range that these cabinets 
utilize real wood. Usually this is vinyl wrap or plastic, but this is alder wood. It's a hardwood cabinet. The sofa lifts up, so there's storage under there. This is where we keep our extra folding chairs under the sofa for the freestanding table and chairs. It obviously makes into a bed. This is how we utilize the space in a 24-foot motorhome to give you a full living room, a full kitchen, a giant bathroom, and then a full-size, king-size frame with a queen mattress bed. Even in our 40-footers, it'd be hard to get a king-size bed in there. These are the two extra leaves for your dining room table, so the table will slide out for company. This year, is, this is a new addition. It's a larger sink and a deeper sink. That's what we didn't have last year in 95. The overhead cabinets, good size, and this shelf is adjustable. The nice thing is, again, it's all wood cabinetry, all screwed together, and it's low. I don't have to stand on my toes to get into the overhead cabinets. These are some of the things that probably make our 24-footer uh, the number one selling 24-foot motorhome in the country. Another trend-setting motorhome on the Bates lot is the Gulfstream Ultra Mini. Gulfstream has a full range of mini homes all the way from 21 feet up to 31. And they even have one with a slide out, which I believe they're the first from the industry to put a slide out into their mini home. If you haven't driven a motorhome before, it's a good way to start too, because again, it feels like driving a van, even though it actually is the same width of a Class A motorhome. This particular motorhome has got some really nice features. First of all, it's a 31 foot with a tag axle on the back. That's a nice feature in the fact that it gives you a much more stable ride. Gulfstream does a nice job on the inside of their motorhomes as far as with the wood trim and a lot of the extras that they put inside of it. This particular motorhome has a dinette couch and a swivel chair. Of course, a dinette and couch make into a bed, and then you have a nice overhead bed. The other nice thing about the Gulfstream mini homes is the fact that they have so many different floor plans. They have go as low as a 20 foot with a rear bath. They even have a 21 foot mini home that has a rear double bed. This particular motorhome is a full shower, microwave oven, refrigerator, stove, sink, just basically everything that you need in a motorhome to live in. It also has a generator, which makes it nice because you're fully self-contained. You've got electricity, everything you need. Well, I think that our mini home division is one of the great success stories in this industry the past five years. We've gone from literally nothing to almost 11% market share. We're fourth largest mini home manufacturer in the industry. And we've done it because we were the first manufacturer to come out with wide body mini homes. Then we were the first manufacturer to come out with basement storage mini homes. Then we were the first manufacturer to come out with combining the two, a full basement, wide body mini motor home. And then we were one of the first manufacturers to come out with a slide out room. So when you combine all these items, uh, we're just far and away the most innovative of mini home manufacturers. We're now riding in a Safari Sahara. This is a 1996 model, and it's a super, super coach. This coach has got, of course, a rear diesel pusher in it because that's about all the Safari builds in their motorhomes. It's a great idea because, of course, all the noise is in the back. This is the entry-level Safari, but you can't really call it entry-level because compared to any other motorhome, this is way above their high lines. This coach has got everything from Corian countertops, ice makers, hardwood floors in the kitchen, big color TVs with backup cameras, leveling jacks, awning. So you, there's just no way to call this an entry level, but it's the beginning of Safari's line. Safari makes the Sahara, then they go to the Serengeti, then the Ivory. And then, of course, the very top of their line, which is another franchise, is the Continental. You've got all kinds of options in here. The one nice thing I really liked in this coach is the way they put the fabric and the uh, leatherette together here that gives it a real soft seat. The interior colors are real pretty. They use all real wood inside of it. All beautifully finished inside here too. Tons of storage in this motorhome. This motorhome is built on a Magnum chassis which is built by Safari strictly to be a motorhome chassis. You've got the stainless steel skirts on the outside, which are real nice feature, which go all along the bottom side of the motorhome. This coach is equipped with an AM FM cassette with a CD player. And you've got the Delco sound system in here, which was actually designed by Delco for this motorhome. You've got a tilt telescopic steering wheel in here, which you just 
push in and you can telescopic the steering wheel up and down or you can pull it back and tilt it completely out of the way. A lot of people put the steering wheel up like this when they're parked and put a little table on it and use it for another table, which is a neat idea. You've got a computer desk right in front of the passenger, which is a real nice feature. Great vision in this motorhome, but yet the windows aren't so large in it that you get fried from the sun. We're in a pretty sunny day here in Florida right now, as you can see, and the sun's on this side, but yet it's not blaring in on me. Rod, we've got a couple of engines here, Cummings, and I'd like you to tell us, you know, a little bit about the durability and why somebody should buy a Cummings engine. Okay. We've got a couple engines here today, Frank. Uh, first one we have is our B-Series model. It goes from 160 to 230 horsepower. Um, this engine is basically designed to last uh, approximately three to 400,000 miles before life to overhaul. For our really, really high performance customers, the other engine we brought today is our M11 series engine. Uh, mostly designed around performance and up to like a 45 foot motor home. Uh, this engine goes all the way up to 400 horsepower, 1,350 foot pounds of torque. What about service on these? Well, we have, uh, we have more service locations than any other diesel manufacturer. We have 3,500 locations around the nation, basically to take care of your customers no matter where they're at. We've just introduced a new warranty. Uh, it's seven years or 150,000 miles. And we also have a 10-year warranty available up to 200,000 miles for a little extra. So I think in, for most people, uh, just the base warranty is going to take them through the whole life cycle of their, of their motorhome. While you won't find a Cummings engine in a Falcon, there's plenty of features that will catch your eye. National Sales Manager John Putnam explains. In the new Falcon, we have made such tremendous strides and made so many terrific changes, and the public acceptance has been phenomenal. We have taken the interior, lightened it up with white walls away from the traditional panel walls we've had in the past. We have gone to beautifully coordinated uh, fabric materials. We have a solid wood flooring in the Falcon, which is incidentally laid strip by strip, a solid surface countertop made by Wilson Art, the Gibraltar. The entire, we have uh, solid Formica cabinetry in European style in the Falcon and everyone has just fallen in love with it. It's just a beautiful, well-coordinated, lovely, open unit. We have a patented one-piece roof system which consists of inch and a half studs and we have two inches of insulation in it and instantly two inches in the walls as well. The reason we have such a strong roof system is that it's very important, uh, particularly in a high profile unit. As you go down, you, you may uh, uh, once in a while run into a tree branch, do something such as that. You have the extra protection and strength so you're not causing damage to your unit. Well, the Horizon for us in 1996 is much like the Falcon as much as we've redesigned the entire product line. And a couple of things that we've done, number one is we've changed the logo to more of a, uh, a modern logo for 1996. On the interior, we've lightened the oak cabinets up. We've changed the fabrics entirely. We have new seats. We have a vinyl strip simulated wood flooring in the middle, which really has tremendous eye appeal and everybody really likes the product. Let's rejoin Spartan President John Stekeel, who will tell us about the entire Spartan Motors line. At Spartan Motors, we produce chassis which range in horsepower from 210 horsepower all the way up to 400 horsepower. Ranges from our premium line or top of the line horsepower, the K2, to the Mountain Master, to the Alpine, to the EXP 2001, which is, which is pictured behind me right here. We call the EXP 2001 affordable luxury. Why? Because no other chassis manufacturer puts an air suspension in this horsepower in this weight class. Every other chassis manufacturer utilizes spring suspension. What do springs do? They take the bumps from the road, transfer it to the frame, bring it up to the motorhome. Is that what you want on your vacation? I don't think so. What you want is an air suspension which takes the bumps out of the road so when you're going down the road, you're going down in luxury, affordable luxury. Hey, quick tour, but I hope it was informative. And I hope we didn't put you to sleep. But like I say, if you're asleep, you don't know about this part of the show anyway. But maybe if you're taping it, you can watch it later. And if it did put you to sleep, like I said, you can use it and maybe use it to put your sleep, yourself to sleep later. Anyway, we're real sincere about having your business down here. We want to take care of you. And the one thing I want you to know, if you ever come down to Bates RV and you need any assistance and it's not working out the way you want to for whatever reason, please make sure and ask for me. I'm always here at least a phone call away and I'll be happy to take care of you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you down at Bates RV. You can reach Bates RV's Tampa location by calling 813-659-0008 
or in Venice at 941-484-0001, or by fax at 813-485-9711. Our 800 number is 1-800-453-7376. And for those of you who surf the net, you can catch our site at http://baitsrv.com.